Hello all, welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I am going to uh, show you how to read a DTC and uh, I am going to give explanation on the particular DTC that we are going to find. Before that, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and if you would like to follow us in Facebook or Instagram, I can give you the links in the description. Please do follow and chat your friends too. In this video, I am going to show you the OBD protocol DTCs that is confirmed DTC. In my previous video, I have shown you pending DTC and now let me uh, show you the confirmed DTC and my next video, let me explain what exactly the pending DTC and confirmed DTC is. Alright, so yes, let me connect my OBD2 protocol into my car's computer and uh, we'll show you how uh, it how to read it and what exactly i got after reading and uh, let me have a discussion on how the ddc uh, gives you the explanation all right so first let me connect it Yeah, I, uh, I have connected it. So now let me read it from my another phone. That is the phone that is I have connected to the OBD2 protocol. All right. So let me give this recording screen recording. Yeah. So let me let uh, let me connect it. It's connecting. It's searching for the OBD2. It's showing it is connecting. I have an ELM connection and ECU connection. I think both has to be connected in this. Yeah, let, it's connected and uh, now let me read the DTCs, alright. So I have um, dashboard, live data, all sensors, DTCs, freeze frame. I have so many options. So let me give the DTCs. My intention is to read the DTC. Let me give the uh, read, read DTCs. See, diagnostic trouble codes, choose modules for reading or clearing. Alright, so I want to read and I am selecting all. Of course, all, around 50 I have selected all right so i have to give a read you should not give clear because uh, in uh, in a garage they will uh, fix it and they'll clear but we don't we should not clear it so let me let me read it yeah it's 50 getting some misfire detected pending gtc and i have the battery has to come yeah I got on confirmed DTC let me see B1102 is the DTC. Let me check it. So when yes, it's reading, I went reading DTC, I got one confirmed DTC. Apart from that one pending DTC, I got. And af ap apart from pending DTC, convert three DTCs, I got like validated fault present at the time of request. So it's it, it present at the time of request, but actually it is not. So maybe for uh, one or two seconds, the DTC, you see it's a misfire detected. Uh, it's uh, maybe uh, that is due to some less fuel or uh, maybe due to some uh, fuel mixture ratio as an issue. So maybe because of this, uh, uh, some particular second so it's capturing so it's very good thing that uh, it is capturing even a minor uh, if issues so still we we can have a time to fix it I think still nine more uh, modules is pending TPMS TPMS
yeah so 50 modules is yeah see we have uh one two three 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 confirmed dtc uh, sorry two confirmed dtcs so see even here they have mentioned srs airbag and uh, b one triple six b double one zero so let me see what exactly it is all right let me list out what are the ddc's we found all right so here we have the four ddc's it starts with p0303 p0300 b1116 and b1102 these are all the four ddc's that we found and let's see what are the severity and root cause of these ddc's and whether uh, we can handle it or we have to take it to the garage let me discuss the same all right so first let me start with p0303 let me start with the first DDC P0303. See here I have given the input as P0303 Hyundai. So I got the results like P0303 code means that the cylinder 3 is misfiring. Yes, of course, this is the four cylinder engine, and in this the cylinder 3 is misfiring or randomly firing. So the main cause, what are the main let us see the code possible causes as well as the severity level. So the severity level shows its high. The three means it's immediately you have to look into this issue and have to fix it. And let's see the possible cause of this particular P0303 code. So we have so many causes. Uh, we have there is any problem with the spark plug or the fuel injector or the ignition coil or the harness is open or shortened with the battery or ground terminal or the ignition coil harness is open or shortened or the circuit has a poor electrical connection or the insufficient cylinder compression the air fuel and the compression ratio is poor or uh, maybe there may be the air leak or maybe the fuel pressure is not sufficient so this fuel pressure is a very common that if the vehicle is driven with the low fuel then there may be the high chance of getting these particular issue all right so this is all about the p0303 let's see about p0300 Next, we'll continue with the P0300. This is what the DDC code is. And this code means that the cylinders is misfiring or randomly misfiring. So here it's not specific with any cylinder one or two or three or four. Here it's, it's in general. It's maybe any of these four cylinders have the particular misfiring issue. Then this particular DDC will trigger automatically. All right. So this is all about the P0300. And as, as I said, P means the power train. So we have the DTC has like P, C, B like this. So let me have the more explanation on the upcoming future videos. And uh, time being, we have to understand that P means it's a powertrain, the, the DTC issue related with the powertrain. All right. So the next DTC deals about is P1102. That means it's a supplemental restraints system control module. So this is what is mentioned as SRS or airbag. When we have read in the particular scanner itself, we have this SRS. So SRS means supplemental restraints system control module. It checks the input voltage when the ignition on to make airbag system work properly. So for example, if the airbag is uh, airbag is uh, expecting some 12 voltage, but the particular 12 voltage is not getting uh, as a supply then it, it may trigger this particular DTC and uh, secondly we have the another DTC B1116 so this is also deals with the airbag when the airbag diagnosis sensor unit there is ACU defines both signal voltage of G sensor and the safing sensor to the, the collision which exceeds the specific level the specified level exceeds because of again the low voltage so even in your in your laboratory you test for the low voltage uh, issues so all these low voltage issues are the input to these kind of DTCs and let's see what is the cause of these two uh, DTCs let's start with B11 the main B1102 the main cause is faulty supplemental there is faulty SRCM or the SRCM harness is open or short or there is a poor electrical connection or there is a faulty charging system so this is all about B1102 and if you see about B1116 we have the faulty again uh, airbag uh, control unit or the right airbag uh, satellite sensor harness is open or short so it is it is fine but there is some problem with the open or uh, shortened harness or it may be the poor electrical connection so as i know what exactly the issue is the reason is i have uh, turned on the ac for a long time and because of the battery got drain off i'm getting these two b 6 and b 2 dtc so the main reason is because of 
poor charging or maybe the poor electrical connection that's what the reason is but the ultimate uh, reason is the power supply is not up to the mark all right so this is all about the dtc's that whatever we have getting and in our future videos we'll have more dtc's also we'll have the re dtc information we'll start with the next video uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and share to your friends and uh, yes we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care